Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to the most nonsense series I've ever done on this channel. Probably, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna call this the most nonsense series I've ever done on my channel, but it's, oof, it feels like it. Okay, so, we've got this, like, insane underground area, and I'm gonna keep working on it. You know what, I'm just gonna go straight like this. So, the reason why I say it's the most nonsense thing, and, you know, this has actually been something that's been stuck in my head for years. It's like, what if I did a series where all I did was take the demo of a game and never... and only play the demo for, like, a while? Like, what would happen? What could I do? And I think this is... this truly is the perfect expression of that, like, weird... nonsensical desire of mine. It's... and I'm okay with that. I'm actually... I'm at, actually rather happy about this. So a number of you have been giving me, like, tips and suggestions, like, you know, lay the framework for everything that you're gonna be doing. Uh... you know, when the game actually comes out properly. And that is absolutely what I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, w what I hope to do is turn Cantlin into a kind of idealistic, um... idealistic village, or at least, you know, have you know, kind of the groundwork for it, everything laid out, uh, structures, set, stuff like that. But obviously, after a certain point, we're gonna, we're gonna hit the, well, we already hit the limit. You know, there's technically nothing, nothing else I can do in this demo. Um, but what I'm going to do is keep going. Oh, Oaken Club has fallen apart, and looks like that's the only one, so I should go build a bunch. You know, I might actually just build as many Oaken Clubs as I can. Because there's a separate inventory slot, uh, tab? Slot? I don't know, whatever. Uh, that I can get to. Plus, here's the question. How many of these do I have? A couple of chests and doors. I don't entirely know if... Okay. This is kind of dumb, but apparently they will randomly put... Uh... They will randomly put the stuff they make... In any of these chests. Which probably means I should get rid of these chests. Uh, I'll figure that out later. Apparently there's also a dragon. Probably up there? Maybe over there? I don't know. But apparently the dragon's really hard to fight. So, I'm probably gonna leave the dragon for a rainy day in a couple of days. Cause it's what, the third now. So we've got a week. It comes out a week, uh, the game legitimately comes out a week from today. That gives us a little while yet, uh, before we have to, before we have to think about it. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably, I'll probably do the dragon fright, uh, fight, dragon fright, dragon fight after we finish the underground grotto. Apparently for clearing the dragon fight, you get like a, a cushion or something, uh, that's worth 500 points, which is actually pretty dang ridiculous, uh, for, you know, what we're doing here. Like 500 points is no small number. Um, but at the same time... Let's see. At the same time, like, I'm lazy, and we're here, and we're already, we're already doing this. This is a much better camera angle, even if it's a little finicky. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of wish I could almost get him to align to a grid, temporarily. But yeah, this way we can hit three blocks at a time, and everything should be dandy. Yeah, so we're gonna clear this out, and we're gonna see how many rooms we can fit in here. Now, I actually do have an extreme temptation to, uh, kind of nix the idea of two floors down here and only do one. And actually have some, like, room to breathe. And I'm- I'm trying to decide on that one. Um, mainly because... I'm not- I don't suffer necessarily from claustrophobia, but there's definitely some amount of, like, claustrophobic- mm, that I'm experiencing right now. And, well, I could do... I could do, like, the really ridiculous... Yeah, you know what? Let's let's actually do this. Uh, it's it's going to minimize the amount of point point totals I have here and increase the amount of digging I gotta do by, like, a, some degree. Um, but what I'm thinking is, what I can do... What I can do is, uh, have, like, a four-block tall, straight-down-to-bedrock town underneath the town with extra, like, workbenches and stuff, as opposed to this just, like, awkward grotto system. And this way, you know, it'll at least look like there's something down here. And then eventually, I'd probably queue it up, or not queue it up, but, like, build a, a proper, like, staircase. 
And then what we do is actually replicate the entire thing above the town. Uh, as like a, a separate... A separate section. Because I think that'd be better than what I've currently got going, which is... Kind of ugly. And super limited in like, if we... If push does come to... Let's see, if push does come to shove on, um, like, when the game actually comes out, we're going to be stuck with this, like, really awkward subsection of the town that I'm going to have to get rid of. Uh, that's probably going to de-level the town like crazy, and I'd rather do it this way. Plus, I'm actually really curious how high up into the skybox we can build, because we might be able to build, like, really ridiculous apartment complexes and stuff with, like, walkways and stuff that go above. Like, there's no... I assume there's actually less of a vertical... Uh, there's l less of a vertical limit uh, on this game than, um, than there is, you know, going up versus down. Like, what can we do? Four? Five? We can go five blocks down, but I bet we can go, like, something like 30 blocks up. Like, we can, we can make some pretty ridiculous structures here, and that's probably what I'm going to do. You know, go all the way up into the sky. Uh, we'll probably start by making, um... Uh... Actually, forgot his name. We'll start by making Bildrick's Tower of Dirt. Mainly because we can't make it out of anything else. I really wish you could at least make, like, thatch or straw buildings, even if they're probably no prettier than the dirt. I actually have to say, the dirt in this game, very nice looking. Uh, the way they've textured the blocks... Uh, makes me... It's it's a really nice visual style. Uh, which is kind of different for me-ish. Because I'm used to, uh, you know, I'm used to the Minecraft style or, you know, Terraria style or whatever. Where block texturing definitely isn't, like, uh, the highlight of everything. Here, it looks, it looks nice. It really does. At some point, we should take all the not dirt out of this chest. Okay, let's do that now, actually. This will be dirt chest. Actually, do we want to do that? No, 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 no. Hold horses, Wanderbot. We're actually going to put everything back. We're going to grab all of the dirt. It'd be really nice if there's an easier way of, like, moving things around, like, quick stack and stuff. The one disappointment is since this is a, uh... Oh, that's a lot of grassy leaves. Where the heck did I get them all from? I have no idea. Uh, since this is not going to be a PC game, that means there's going to be next to no modding for it. Which sucks. Because this is the kind of game that would definitely gain, like, a huge amount of bonus longevity. You know what? I don't need to break up, open those chests. We've got another one here. I guess I gotta put that away for the time being. I'll, I'll put the dirt chest over here. Next to the, uh, tunnel entrance. Okay, here we go. Um, but yeah, because there's going to be no modding support, that is pretty much means this is going to be how the game is going to behave for the entirety of, uh, well, forever. Which really isn't so bad, but it's one of those where it's like, games like Minecraft, or even Terraria, and Starbound, especially Starbound, holy crap, Starbound. You know, those are all games that thrive, especially on uh, mod support. And it's always kind of a shame when you got a sandbox game that does not have active mod support, or even worse, has um, active uh, developer interference for modding. Oh god, I hate games like that. Like, what game was it? There was a game recently I heard about that uh, the developer was actively shutting down... Oh, right. I forgot we want to keep that. Okay. Um Yeah, I don't I don't remember what game it was. It's it's been a couple weeks since or months since I've heard of it. But every once in a while you get a you get a developer that makes, you know, pretty solid game, but there's just a little bit of Oh right. Um one great example kind of is Dark Souls. I remember Dark Souls 2 had uh vac support for the very first time because they had run into a bunch of cheating. Um, but what VAC did was really just check to see if anything was changed. So if you wanted to use any of the mods for, um, for Dark Souls 2, that was almost... 
I'm not gonna say almost guaranteed a vac ban, but it was a vac ban. I wonder if um a lot of it has to do with like culture, cause you know, uh, Western game development has been living on mods for years. Uh, mods, fan games, stuff like that. You know, kind of like the the weird off-brand games that actually like fit in series pretty well, but ob obviously aren't made by the main developer. Whereas, I feel like Japanese development is probably a little bit more, like, closed down, so of course, you know, from from software is probably going to be pretty hard on modding, or at least they're not going to help the people that, you know, innocently modded the game for just, like, a visual patch or whatever. Um, and obviously, like, this game, they're not even going to think about it. And maybe that's part of the reason why, um... Fallout is never going to have proper mod support f on the PS4. Uh, because Sony probably doesn't want to deal with that. I bet it's like a security issue. I don't know. There's there's a whole host of reasons why mod support is not getting doled out here. I can probably guess. I don't know. I hope eventually we actually get a, a thing that lets us uh, mine even bigger swipes. Then... Like, at max, we can get, like, a... At max, we can seem to get a, a, uh... Three, maybe, floor block, block swipe. Depends on how exactly it's lined up. But it'd be nice if there's, like, a, a proper bulldozer technique at some point. Along the way here. Yeah, where did I get all the that grass from? I had, like... 70. Did I f harvest that all, or is that... I might have harvested it up, that all. Well, one way or another, that's kind of a huge bonus for me. Even if it's a little weird that I somehow had that many, like, grass patches. Yeah, we're gonna have to rethink our staircase into this thing. Because if I'm not gonna... If I'm gonna be using this as an underground town, we're gonna want to, um... We're gonna want to have, like, a much better staircase. Either skirting town somewhere, or... I mean, maybe even, like, a, a dungeon entrance-looking thing in the center of town. Probably not, though, because that, that's going to make, uh... I'm going to call it downtown. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to make downtown, uh, really awkward. I mean, imagine if you had a giant staircase that that cut through the sky into the center of town. It's hard to build around that kind of thing. It probably wouldn't be terrible, but it would be easier if I put it around, like, one of the sides or something. Um, and then had, like, a, a main square. Oh, yeah! You know what we can do? You know how we have that, like, big teleporty thing? So we've got the flag, uh, in Midtown. We're gonna put the teleporter in Downtown. I don't know what we're gonna put in Uptown when we get to Uptown. Uh, I assume that will be something for a wildly different day. Oh, you know what we need to check after this? I've got some more science ideas on, like, how the game mechanics specifically work with this game. Um, but one of the things that we could do is check to see, can you stack buildings super close on top of each other? Because honestly, I'd probably I'd probably keep it, uh, keep my buildings like two or three high, just for the sake of um, not getting overwhelmingly claustrophobic. Because I know some, uh, I got a couple of comments uh, talking about how, how they got kind of a claustrophobic feeling as a result of, you know what I'm doing right here. And I'd prefer to, I'd prefer to keep this series as, you know, non-bothersome as possible. Mainly because I feel the same way. I I don't have, like, huge claustrophobia issues, but it's one of those where, like, I hate sleeping in sleeping bags. Like, the really warm, tight, uh, synthetic sleeping bags that you always have, uh, you know, you always bring with you backpacking or camping or whatever. Um, I just cannot deal with being that constrained. It, it messes with me to no end. And, um... I don't like going camping anymore. That, and I also hate the the fact that I can't go, uh, I can't take a shower uh, in a lot of camp camping situations. Like, yeah, there's sometimes like a river or a stream that you can kind of bathe in. But it's just awkward and it's uncomfortable and you just don't feel clean and, you know, because camping is usually kind of like an outdoorsy, sweaty thing because you generally do it during like the warmer months. Um, and even if you did it, did it during the winter months, you'd still be sweaty because you have to be tromping around in a jacket and stuff. Um, but yeah, by the by the end of camping, I just feel gross, which is funny because I'm an Eagle Scout. You'd, th you'd think, you'd think I would have acclimated to it, but 
In fact, the more I went camping, the less I liked it. To the point where eventually it's like, I guess I'll go to, like, Boy Scout camp, because it has, like, running water and fun things to do. But, like, my brother is this really high adventure dude. Uh, like, super high adventure, loves climbing big, tall mountains, hiking, backpacking, um, stuff like that. And, like, power to him for doing it, uh, doing that sort of thing, obviously. Um, but I, like, every once in a while, he'll, like, offer that I come along, or, like, he had a breakup, two breakups within the past year, I think it was. And, um, my parents were like, hey, you could go backpacking with him. I'm like, nope. Don't wanna. I don't know how much it would cheer him up. And so my dad went instead. And my dad doesn't mind nearly as much. I think part of it is I'm, like, kind of a sweaty person. I'm not, like, gross sweaty. Like, the, the kind of sweaty that you don't want to be around. It's just that, like, oh, you know what? Um, part of it is, um, I think I'm kind of allergic to my own sweat. I don't even know if that's, like, necessarily a thing. Shell's told me it's a thing repeatedly, and I assume as such. Uh, but if I, if I get, like, too hot and sweaty in a day, I actually kind of break out in a rash. And I know this is probably kind of like TMI stuff, but it's just, like, it's not comfortable. And I don't like it. Uh, and as such, like, I, I tend to stay away from vigorous activity unless I can take a shower immediately afterwards. Like, I actually really like going to the gym. Yeah, you know, it's a hot and sweaty activity, but then immediately I come back and take a hot shower and everything is okay. Okay, this is the last section here, and then we're going to start digging down. Um, but yeah, that's why I don't like camping, because I feel gross. I've enjoyed camping in the past, but it's just not not for me. I am too much of a, a homebody for that sort of thing, too. If I go, if I did stuff like camping more regularly, I would not be able to put out videos every day. Every once in a while, somebody will ask me, like, why do you do this? And I'm like, I just don't have, well, no, I do kind of have better things to do, but I just really enjoy playing video games, too. And I'm glad that, uh, okay, so if I reset camera, that doesn't seem to do anything. I'm glad that people seem to, uh, enjoy watching me play video games. Okay, so let's fill this in. I'm not entirely sure if we're directly underneath the wall or what, but it seems like a good natural barrier. Okay, there we go, and there we go. Yeah, like, I guess I could probably, like, tone, tone down the amount of videos I do in a given day to, like, much less than this-ish. Uh, but I, I really just enjoy doing what I do. Yeah, let's get rid of these walls. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be ma making downtown taller, we might as well make it as tall as possible. Like, it's gonna actually be five blocks tall. Like, this might actually be the, the larger of, or the, the more open air of all things, which is kind of hilarious. We're probably gonna light everything with torches, too. Yeah, because we've got three here plus two here. Yeah. Okay, let's also rethink these stairs. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna start bashing these in. Because, yeah, what we can do is get rid of all of these. Looking good so far. Can I get out of here? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what I can do, put this there, grab these blocks. And all I need to do is wall off this section of the staircase. Hits ground floor. Do we give it one more and then put the door? Nah, the door's, door's pretty big. I don't think we want to. There we go. Okay. I'm not sure if we need to be this aggressive about it. But yeah, this gives us a basic staircase. Eventually, I'm going to actually replace all these blocks with staircase blocks. But current, uh, currently, I only got like three. Uh, so that kind of... That kind of ruins things. If, if I had more stairs... Uh-oh. 
Like, if I had more stair blocks, that'd be totally, totally cool. Uh... Actually, we want to do this here. Okay. So we want to put one here. Yep. Was hoping I'd be able to click and drag properly. Okay. And then we want to put one there. And one there. Okay. Wait. In retrospect, I don't need this here. What am I doing? Because what we're going to have is a, uh, a staircase that comes down all the way. It's not that we're having two levels here, it's that I'm only having one. Okay. Well, I guess that makes this easier. Yeah, it's still gonna take a while to excavate. And what we might want to do is come up to this level. Because Bildrick can only work on two levels at once. Might also be easier if I just align for two blocks at a time. Might be faster if I did three. But two blocks at a time makes uh, makes things easy. Because if you notice, I don't have to align myself. I don't have to worry about missing. As long as I'm aimed at the center, we're always hitting two blocks. And I think generally we're, we're going to hit two blocks no matter what. This is probably kind of boring for a lot of people. Maybe. I don't know. I, I really, like... On one hand, this is somebody's gonna find this series, um, and they're gonna get to probably this episode and be like, "Why hasn't he progressed in the game yet?" You know, the game's been out for months, because um, you know not everybody pays attention to to these things. I think I've been pretty explicit with my, "This is currently only the demo," and it's not that I'm not playing the full version by by choice. It's that it literally there's no full version for another week or so. Um, and, like, I, I feel bad for anybody watching this series, and maybe I'll put, like, an addendum on the first episode or something. I'm not sure. Um, but, like, I, I'm sure somebody's gonna hit this point in the series and be like, you know, what the hell is he doing? Why is he making his dirt, uh, his town entirely out of dirt? Like, this is stupid. Uh, to which all I can respond with is, I'm sorry? Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of options here. I really actually wish... Eh, no, I don't know. There's not really much I could have wished for apart from more building materials here. Um, but yeah, normally when this sort of thing happens, I just stop. And I'm like, well, I've hit the end of the beta, so there's really nothing left for me to do. Um, but in this case, I've hit the end of the demo, and there is stuff for me to do. It's just crazy... Things that only crazy Let's Players would do. Let's see. Let's fill in the walls. There we go. Um, and so, like, while we wait for the 1.0 version to come out, yeah, I'm, d I'm doing this. And I, I feel bad for people that are only interested in the... Oh, wow. I've already churned through all of my wooden clubs. That's okay. I've got a ton more. We're going to have to go stick collecting soon enough. Uh, but I... Th I'll probably be running low on wooden clubs by the time we get to that point. I think I also need to go get some food, but considering we got a bunch of kitchens, uh, we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, so so for people looking for, like, actual full... The actual full game, we are, we are stuck here for at least another ten episodes, which is insane. Um... Well, not ten episodes, seven episodes, give or take. And I'm going to be playing this as soon as I possibly can. Uh, you know, the full version as soon as I possibly can. It's just currently no dice. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just weird, because, like, m when people are looking for a series, generally they look for, like, kind of one of the top ones on YouTube, uh, and that's the way it always works. Um, and there's a very real possibility that I'm actually doing fairly well on search results. And I'm definitely going to have the most amount of episodes for this right at the bat. Uh, so I would not be surprised if a lot of people, uh, don't immediately find my playthrough. And then they're going to have, have to wait for, like, 13 episodes before we actually get to the normal game. Now, if this was, like, an RPG and we could level up and stuff, we'd hit the normal game and I'd have 
beefy Bildrick the Strong because I've been just grinding on level level monsters until I didn't get any more EXP. Uh, because that would be an alternative, but as far as I can tell, there's no way I can increase my combat potential except for um, doing this right... Uh, well, actually, no, except for doing nothing. There's nothing I could do. And that's probably okay, too. Um, but yeah, so so for, for people that have somehow found this series and gotten this far without realizing that I'm an insane person, I'm sorry? It's okay. It's... it's... It's all it's all fun and games. Okay, so let's stow away most of these blocks. We're gonna need to grab some food before we go back down. At least we're clearing out pretty quickly, and it's not as uh, awkward as it was before. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to plug that hole next time we come up with a load of dirt. Uh, let's see, what kind of food are we looking at here? They're not even. They're not even cooking the plum berries. They're just. Gathering them and then throwing them in the, um, in the chest. Well, it'll do. Okay, we got a bunch of mushrooms on the stick for future use. Okay. Well, I don't mind. This is actually kind of, uh, super relaxing for me. Uh, so it's probably not audible via my voice, but I'm actually, like, super sick right now. Um... I can't really, like, walk around too much. I just went on a four-hour grocery shopping uh, trip, as you know you have to do when you're an adult. And by the end of it, I was just, like, staggering around like a zombie. Shell's like, stop doing that. And I'm like, I can't. I can't help it. I feel, I feel like the worst. And, um, I mean, obviously, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, but it means that, like... After that, I haven't been interested in playing anything particularly strenuous. I I don't know if it's obvious from my channel, but I tend to avoid playing games that are, like, too hard. If only because, like, it's just not fun playing, like, overwhelmingly difficult games for hours on end. Like, there are some that are okay, but usually I play it for some other kind of experience. If I'm looking for difficulty, I'll go for, like, a hard-to-master multiplayer game. Or, like, a roguelike or something. I love roguelikes for that reason. Tower Guns kicked my ass for, ye for like, a hundred-something episodes? No, I mean, honestly, I think I mastered it somewhere around, like, episode 30, 40, somewhere in there. Uh, it took me a long time before I could beat that game. And it was so satisfying getting good at it. Whereas, like, I don't know. There was Fury. God, I hated Fury. That game was not fun. I did not enjoy that, and the people... <laughs> They commented on that video were not kind to me. So playing this is actually like super therapeutic, especially because I'm sick, because I'm just like, alright, whatever. And you know, I don't I don't have to, to worry about anything. I'm just I'm just sitting around just biffing dirt with a club until until I have a crazy underground town. Speaking of, I think uh, after this we're gonna have to make a fortress. Not a fortress. I wonder if I'm going to be able to move water around at some point. I hope so, because I want to make a moat. Uh, but I guess if we don't get the chance to make a moat, I guess what we'll do is just make a, a uh, trench around the outside of this uh, in much the similar way as I currently am, and uh, then we're going to have it around the walls. We should also have uh, maybe make the walls a little bit thicker and like do parapetting and stuff, make it look really nice. Eventually, we'll have like stone and shit. Uh, that'll be... You know, stone and stuff to replace everything that I've done here, and I can only assume that I'm probably going to get a ton of stone. I'm also hoping that I can get something that destroys dirt and stone in, like, one swipe. Because, like, imagine if I eventually could just, like, churn through this in, like, one go. I'm gonna feel real stupid for doing all of this at that point. Um, just because of waste of time or whatever. But at the same time, uh, what else is I going to do right now? Uh, but yeah, so I wouldn't mind replacing the walls of Cantlin with stone and other things. I do hope, though, that it doesn't have me go to new places like and fix up new towns over and over and over again. I'd be real sad about that. It's possible, though. I should probably actually look at the... Uh, I remember the... Uh, the teaser trailer was useless. It was just like a CGI cutscene. Uh, I'd love to see if the developers have actually said 
anything to any extent. Because some answers would be nice. But then again, oh yeah, isn't this already out in Japan? I bet, I bet I could look it up, maybe. I don't know. It's an interesting question. It also doesn't matter too much to me. I'm gonna keep playing one way or another. I'm just gonna be real sad if it turns out that it's like, you hit chapter two and it's like, welcome to Schnubelville, where uh, everybody is poor and stupid again, but there's more resources around here so you can buff up Schnubelville uh, with these things. Oh, what's that? You wanna go back to Cantlin? No, that was chapter one, dummy. You're already done. And you don't have to think about it anymore. They can just rot in their dirt and, uh, their town made of dirt and sticks. What is that? You liked Rollo and Pippa? Eh. You're never gonna see them again because you can't go back. That'd be really annoying. I, and I hope that's not the case. I hope what happens is like, uh, chapter two rolls around and like the island around Cantlin changes. You know, we get some more, uh, we get some more like building area, bunch of new, bunch of new resources and stuff like that. I would be down with that. That, that would be a, a good, um, that would be a good compromise. Um, Maybe. I'm, I'm sure there's like other ways for it to be done too, but I think that's the easiest way I can think of that would actually make things work out well. Now if I was thinking ahead here, I'd actually not dig out some of these walls, um, so I could like leave room for rooms, but I think we'll do that later. It's also much easier to build walls than um, destroy them. Well, like it'd just be awkward trying to plan out well, I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys have done sculpture, but it's generally easy to make like a clay thing by, uh, by, uh, you know, building the clay thing out of wet clay and then firing it and maybe adding some like extra details on or like carving a little bit out. Um, then the reverse, which is starting with a big old hunk of something or other and then carving into it. That stuff's hard and if you make a mistake, you gotta deal with it, because generally, patching looks awful and is very hard to do. I did not enjoy sculpture that much when I was in school. Uh, but yeah, so th this will be easier, and this way we can actually... This way we can experiment, because I still haven't figured out exactly um, what the limitations are on, um, on room size. And I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do that here. Eh, you know what, screw it. I was gonna... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I was gonna not end the episode and just keep recording this, but in reality, I've gotta, I gotta stop at some point. I've got other videos to manage, I've gotta record Pit People before that beta ends. Yeah, that's a, that's another Dragon Quest Builders situation. There, it's like, I finished the bit. I finished the beta section. Now what? Uh... And the answer is, eh, I'll just keep doing what I do. Keep playing the game. Or stop, I don't know. I don't actually make money from that series because all the music is copyrighted. Which probably means I should play something else. I don't know. I'm also sick, so like right now, the idea of recording anything else that actually requires any like level of thought or effort is just inconvenient to me. And my desire is just to keep playing this for a while. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll have enough time, time for pit people. You guys get to hear a little bit of the back end. So one thing, um, I don't know. Nah, I'm just gonna talk about like use of language in this series. I'm really curious, actually, how many of you guys watching this series, like, what age group you're all from? Um, not because it's like I, this is, I guess, more of an issue of like just in general uh, for YouTube. I'm always curious about like how old my audience is. You know, are most of you guys in your 20s, 30s, 70s, uh, you know, teens, tweens, tens? I don't know. I Ideally, my, my, like, my goal for YouTube is to aim for people kind of in my same age group. But obviously, playing, like a, playing a game like this is definitely going to pull in like a younger crowd. And if you are part of that younger crowd, uh, shout out to you, I guess. Um... Not that there's anything wrong with being young, or anything like that. It's just kind of like a, a weird perspective from my my standpoint, because, you know, when I was 
when I was uh, going to college and whatever, or growing up, I never really thought about like my career that hard. And so like the idea of uh, my job specifically being entertaining for younger audiences is weird to me. Not bad, just kind of weird. Oh, you know the other thing that would make me really upset here? If we get, uh, if the full release comes out and it wipes my save file. Well, I don't know. If that happens, I'm gonna just do all of this, uh, as like one, you know, rebuild all of this stuff as one very angry time lapse.